Hello guys, in this video I'll be showing you guys how to use the text generation toolkit in your Unity projects. This video is specifically going to be covering how to set up the Azure Key Vault. The first thing you're going to need to do is open up the documentation. Once you have it opened, find the build usage um, part of it. And then click Azure Microsoft Azure. Now in the top right corner, click sign in. Once you are signed in, click create a resource right here under Azure services. Then in the search bar, search up key vault. And then click key vault made by Microsoft. And then click create. Okay, now choose a resource group. And now I'm going to name my key vault, how to use Azure key vault one because how to use Azure key vault is already taken and now i'm going to choose my region my pricing tier i'm going to put my pricing tier at standard and then i'm going to click preview and create now i'm going to click create now i gotta wait for this to be done deploying now i'm going to open up notepad Okay, now I'm going to copy my, right here, I'm going to copy my um, key vault name and paste it up here. Now I'm going to click the three dots in the left um, corner of my screen, and I'm going to find Azure Active Directory right here. Now I'm going to copy my tenant ID and paste it onto notepad. Now I'm going to click app registrations. I'm going to click new registration. I'm going to name this how to use Azure key vault dash application. Now I'm going to click register. Now I'm going to copy my application client ID right here and paste it onto notepad. And I'm also going to, no, that's all I'm going to do with this. And now I'm going to go into certifications and secrets and create a new client secret. I'm going to leave this at 80, 180 days. This is when it expires, okay? So if you're creating a game, I'd recommend setting it higher. But let's say you create a game and you publish it. You have it at 90 days. 90 days go by and you haven't updated this. The Azure Key Vault will not work because you need this to not have expired. Okay, and now click Add. Now I'm going to copy the value right here by clicking the copy. I'm going to paste it onto my Azure client secret value. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to Microsoft Azure right here. Click on my how to use Azure key vault one. Then I'm going to go to the left and click secrets. Now I'm going to click generate slash import. Now I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to um, name this how to use Azure Key Vault dash secret. Nope, spelled that wrong. Secret. In my secret value, I'm just gonna um, write open AI key. And you're supposed to pay, you can paste your open AI key here or you can just write something like this, and then you can edit it later. Now click create. Now click access policies and click create. Now um, click get and set. And now I'm going to click 
next two times. No, I'm going to click it once. And then here, I'm going to have to how to how to use Azure Key Vault dot application. Now I'm going to click next. Now next again. Then I'm going to click create. And now I'm going to um, go back to Unity and go open up the editor folder under plugins, text generation toolkit, and then click on the keys. Now I'm going to go open up my notepad. Oh, I forgot to get my secret name in here. So I'm going to go back in here and in my secrets. I'm going to copy my name, my secret. I forgot to do that earlier. Now that I'm in Unity, I'm going to open, open up Notepad and copy and paste all my stuff onto Unity. Now I have it working with my Key Vault. So I can now, I'm going to now import my OpenAI key right here. And then I'm going to click Update Vault. Now that I have in there. And now the Vault will now have this um, OpenAI key. So that's how you change the OpenAI key. Here I have this debug.log success. Okay, I'm going to clear that. Now, let's say I want to use it in a game using an Azure Key Vault. I'm going to create, cre create a new game object. And I'm um, just going to leave the name blank. Or I guess game object. And I'm going to add a component and call this Key Vault Manager. Now I'm also going to paste the values from Notepad onto here again. Okay. Now, if now I'm going to need this game object right here, with this, on any scene that I need, um, on any scene that the player can start up in. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder and call this prefab. Prefabs. I'm going to drag and drop this. I'm actually going to name it Key Vault Manager. Key Vault Manager. And I'm going to drag and drop it into my prefabs folder. That's a prefab, and I can put it anywhere I want in my in any of my scenes that I need it, it to be in. Okay, now create a new C sharp script. I'm going to name this test. Okay, so in this script, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, make sure the OpenAI has gets the OpenAI key. Now I'm going to name this test also. Make a new game object. Call it test. Try and drop the test script onto it. Open up the test script. Oh, it's going to ask me if I want to reload this stuff. Sure, why not? And start. I'm going to um, import. Actually, first I'm going to import my using um, the ashbots uh, the spot dot assets dot um dot tgt dot core and also import um the aspot.assets dot as your key vault and that's all. Okay now in start I'm going to say um call chat GPT dot open AI key equals um it will be await await key key vault down here key vault dot get secret okay and that that's all you need to do and now the call chat gpt will have the right open ai key or at least what your secret value is and that's the reason why back in unity you need the key vault manager script right here with all these values fit with all these values right here filled out if you guys have any questions just let me know in the comment section or my discord server and thank you guys for watching